very hard twenty five years ago. We started a new stage of Lithuanian history. So what do we want back then when we were storming out of the Soviet Union and creating our own state? When we declared independence, this concept had real substance behind it. Substance we want to claim and to fill the 11th of March with. In 1990, we wanted to have our own money, have the right to set our own taxes, duties, and first of all, we wanted to have our own laws, laws that would work in Lithuania the way we envisioned. This was more or less what we imagined the substance of independence to be back then. This was what we strive for and this was what we have got. Since 1990, in one year of Supreme Council, we filled the independence with substance. So now, 25 years have passed. It is going to be a big celebration. People will climb to the tribunes and talk about Lithuanian independence. But does that independence has the same substance today after 25 years have passed? And the people who will climb to the tribunes to speak, to use that independence war all the time, Personally, I can't comprehend what substance do they put in those words, independent Lithuania. We no longer have our currency, we have no right to set duties, most taxes are no longer under our control too, and most important, our laws no longer have supremacy in our own country. Today, our laws are secondary to the laws of European Union. Therefore, I appeal to the colleagues who will talk about the independence to answer me, themselves and the people. What substance is there in our independence they talk so much about? Can it be said today that nothing changed? That the substance of independence remains the same as it was 25 years ago? Obviously, it is not. And you might wonder, what does he mean to say? I ask to be unafraid to tell the truth to yourself. Today we are part of a new geopolitical entity and being part of that entity we will inevitably have to give up many aspects of our independence, our currency, setting of duties, rule of our laws, even our budget is nowadays controlled by Brussels. And not only Lithuania is in this situation, all European countries are in such a situation. I simply call on colleagues to be unafraid and to admit this truth, even if we would pretend that nothing changed over past 25 years. We would just be lying to ourselves, our children and our people and would be sinking deeper and deeper into a swamp of lies. That lie will entangle us so badly that we will turn into the entity we stormed out 25 years ago. That entity was deep in lies. I say it again. It is obvious that after 25 years and after joining the European Union, the substance of independence has changed. Don't be afraid to admit, the situation is the same in all the countries of the European Union. History will show what we will do next. Today we have what we have. A question may arise, what is the meaning of the 11th of March? now that the substance of independence has changed. The answer is simple. The importance of the 11th of March on the increase. We, deputies of the Supreme Council, 
have created the instruments of the independent state. The process was crowned with the advent of new constitution. We gave the people instruments of living free and independently from others. If the people choose something else, it is their will what to do with those instruments. The Supreme Council has created and left to the people all the instruments of independence before withdrawing. I can only respect the actions of the people using those instruments, changing the substance of the independence and foregoing most aspects of that substance. I respect this choice, but let's not lie to ourselves. The importance of the 11th of March has only increased. I repeat, it was creation of instruments of free and independent life. So today, I congratulate all the 35 years of anniversary of the 11th of March and real substance of independence. Good luck to us all.